Hello, my name is Thomas Kubica and let me show you today how to use ClearPass in Active Directory uh, to actually enforce some pretty complex policies. In a previous video we have set up ClearPass with Active Directory and Android and Sun EP and we will now continue with this uh, demo a little bit further. So what I want to do is I'm going to the security profile in my Aruba Instant EP and I want to define role. The reason for that is that I don't want to really assign things like VLAN or ACL. Uh, I need something really more uh, more complex and uh, something which is better better usable. So with the role I can do some network related things which is basically access control list based on some TCP port or whatever. I can use application recognition so do the policies based on the application or based on the application category or based on the category of the web server of the actual content. What I can do I can throttle some applications so I can slow some applications down and do things like that. I can of course do the VLAN assignments and some other options are available here. Um, for this demonstration, because we want to really keep it simple, I will go to the bandwidth contract and I will simply say that I want a 512 kilobits per second for, for the user which has this role assigned. So we have created a role with some specific name and uh, that's uh, pretty much what we want to do here in uh, Aruba Instant AP. So let's move on to the ClearPass GUI. So let me um, log in and we have our previous configuration of uh, the ClearPass together with uh, Microsoft Active Directory and now we will start to do some enforcing so here we can see the service services here and if we go to enforcement we have a default which is you know allow everything and don't don't even bother or ask we want to change this so let me go uh, to my Active Directory to show you that in my structure there are some organization units and uh, uh, there is some user in, in this unit, that's that's me, that's that's a user which is part of the organization unit structure and there are also some security groups which are by the way part of the different organization unit which is not a problem and let's create a new security group here and put some name here, I'm sorry for the check name. Um, so we have a new security group here, what I want to do is I want to add uh, that particular user into this group in my Active Directory. So yeah, that, that's a name, let me check the name, okay, seems, seems fine. And what I need to have is the actual path to this group, so I've just copied that to my clipboard. All right, so let's let's go ahead and create some enforcement profile. So there are a lot of you know pretty fine templates. You know what you can do. Uh, I will use Aruba Radius enforcement, which will prepopulate some of the attributes. But there are a lot of you know Cisco and HP related uh, templates as well. So let's put some name here to this profile. Okay, and let's move on to the attributes. So what we're going to do in the attributes, we will say that we want to assign profile of the name uh, we have configured in our access point. That's all we want to do right now here. Now let's create the enforcement policy. So specify you know, what is assigned when. So let's put some name here into our enforcement policy and let's specify some default profile which is going to be deny access. So I want to make an enforcement profile that all the other conditions are, uh, uh, you know, then uh, the login is, is not allowed. So let's create some rule here. So if authentication from my Active Directory and I'm checking attribute is a member of and when the member of equals the actual path uh, to the security group, that's the easiest way to do, yeah, that's why I'm choosing this, then I want to assign profile which is called, uh, it's in Czech language, it's, it's a profile we have created which will actually slow down the user traffic. We want to keep it simple so no more complex policy so let's just go ahead and go to the service and change the enforcement profile in the service to the one we have created just right now and we can click on save. So what we have done here is that when the user is actually a member of that particular group we are going to assign that user this specific profile. 
and the profile is implemented in the instant access point as you saw it actually limits the bandwidth to uh, 512 kilobits per second so let's me connect uh, to the network uh, it has been for the second uh, time so it's it's really fast here if we go to the monitoring section yeah here we go that's me I am in let me show you the actual output uh, those are the input parameters we we have got and there are also some authorization attributes you can see that we are actually reading the data from the active directory and we are assigning that attribute uh, to uh, to that user during the authentication process so it seems that we should be pretty fine with that so let me check it so this is some of the check pages to actually test the speed of the connection to the internet so what we are looking for is the result of roughly 512 uh, kilobits per second and that's exactly what we're receiving here so that's that's pretty much about it so this is how you can actually use uh, clearpass to get with active directory to assign various different enforcement profiles and you don't have to bother with uh, ACLs and VLANs you can just create uh, the nice profile in the AP and assign it like that